Okay, so here he wants to describe what an al algorithm is. <clears throat> and this is a fairly complicated al algorithm. And uh, I don't really want to spend that much time going through it. Uh, but um, it's uh, an algorithm to find the greatest common divisor of two numbers. So you remember that if you have these two numbers, 18 and 15, I can say what numbers divide, go into 18, divide evenly into 18. So 2, because 2 times 9 is 18. 3, because 3 times 6 is 18. And uh, that's about it. 18, of course, goes into 18. And then I can say the same thing here. What are the numbers that divide into 15? So uh, I forgot 1. 1 also divides into 18. So 1 divides into 15. 3 divides into 15. And 5. So now we can say, which are the common divisors of these two? And I think we had one and three. So uh, three, and then that's all. So three is the largest common or the greatest common divisor. So this is an algorithm that when you give two numbers like 18 and 15, that it will find the uh, greatest common divisors. Now we didn't have too much trouble doing it ourselves, but this algorithm will do it. And you can see there are a lot of Sort of steps here, and these are like loops, and this is called a decision. So it says, is B equal to zero? If the answer is yes, you go this way. If the answer is no, you go this way. Then you say, is A greater than B? If the answer is yes, you go this way. If the answer is no, you go this way, and so on. So this is called an algorithm. It's a path that you follow, or a plan that you follow, to get to an answer, or get to the end of the problem or just get to the end of the algorithm. Okay, so, um, okay, so here's a, a flow chart shows the stepwise flow of data in an algorithm from top entry to bottom end. Here in the greatest common denominator, data flow is indicated by the arrows. Arrows collect, connect single steps in the algorithm. So you can see the arrows, so single steps next. Um, can you follow this flowchart? Let's examine, let, next let's examine its parts. Okay, I really don't want to get too much into this, but let's see what we have to do here. Um, our chart for the greatest common de uh, denominator contains various shapes and arrows. That's true. It has a, a rectangle here. It has this kind of shape here. It has a, what we call a diamond here. It has these arrows. It has this point here. So on. Um, there are two basic types of steps, operations on data, operations for control of data flow. Um, operations on, on data, most rectangle, so input A, B, do this kind of thing. This says, like, what, B times A, or is that B minus A? I can't even read it. It goes to B. Um, operations on data uh, means data input and output, data transformation, data storage. So these are um, this data transformation because B is changing. Uh, I guess A is changing. Um, we're inputting here. We're storing data somewhere, probably, and so on. Um, in VB, these are expressed as statements. Uh, so when we input data, when we transform data, when we store data, these are expressed as statements. Can you find the points of data transformation? How is the data stored here? Can you find any rectangles that are not operations on the data? I think this one is not an operation on the data. Go to step two, or go to here. Uh, operations to control the flow of data. Those are forks um, equal decisions or tests. So that's uh, these diamonds here because you go this way or this way, so that's called controlling the flow of the data. Uh, notice the yes-no decision at each diamond. In VB expressed as decision structures. Uh, these are called, so these are called decision structures. So this is like, we, we saw the if-then statement in our last uh, program, the slot machine. That would be if something, then yes. If not, then no. So that's called a decision structure, if then. Okay? Uh, can you identify the tests in this chart? So this one and this one and so on. 
cycles, repeated uh, operations, flow, flow loops, expressed here as go-to statements. And here's a go-to statement. Um, and that's a kind of loop. And we'll learn about loops also, how to um, make uh, your program repeat something over and over again until something happens. OK, you can easily carry out this algorithm uh, by hand, or instead you can ask a computer to do it. How would you ask the computer to do it? You'd have to express this as a program, and then you'd put in the input like those two numbers, 15 and 18, and um, get the answer. OK, learning how to do that well is exactly what this course in all computer languages are about. Okay, stop here.